Okay, everyone, welcome back to Sales Academy. And so let's say, for example, you're done with the visit. You're done with the cold walking. You walked in. Whether you got past the gatekeeper, whether the gatekeeper stopped you, whether the gatekeeper stopped you and you got gathered some information, or you got past them and you were able to meet up with the potential, the key person, the the person who you actually went in there for, right? What do you do after all that? Well, the first main thing is this, is that what was your purpose for this visit? Was it to just gather the information? Was it to set up an appointment? Was it to maybe make sure you got the sale that very day? You know, we talked about the numbers in the beginning of these, the, the whole training series, and you have to make sure that you know what are your goals for this particular cold walk-in. And what you do is you take all the information that you have, okay, <coughs> excuse me, take all the information you have and you put it in your CRM, your customer relation management system, your, um, you know, if you're using still paper, that's fine. If you're using Excel spreadsheet, that's fine. Like I said, I will always tell you guys I prefer a CRM because it saves me time and money. Um, I can, most CRMs nowadays have an app. So while I'm walking out the door after I'm done with my meeting, after I'm done with my cold walk-in, I can start entering the information I want to be able to be placed there. And that's when you analyze everything. You analyze how you did. I always say it's like after each walk-in, cold walk-in in a facility, I when I'm done with that, when I'm walking to my car, I will spend a good five minutes analyzing and quantifying things on what happened. Did I, is it, did I get the results I want? Did I get the appointment? Was I able to get an instant uh, meeting? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down the, the, the goods and the bads. And where can I improve on? Because it's always about... Number one in sales and marketing is is to really buy numbers and go out there consistently, but at the same time is taking the data that you actually have and using that for yourself. Because if you don't take advantage of the information you got, then that's where you're going to have some problems in the main future, right? So, you know, in, in this particular video, it's pretty much the summary of the whole thing that we did. We talked about, you know, going thing on, on foot. What's the reason why you're doing that? You must be able to know why you actually walked in there. Uh, we talked about, you know, making sure you did your preparation correctly, you know, having that positive mindset, not bringing any negativity from home to work or not even bringing negativity from a bad walk-in to the next, okay? Because each one of these people are individual. We talked about list creations, like how do you find your lists, right? How do you research that? And that is also a vital thing. You don't want to do your research, you know, the day of that you're going out because you're rushing it. And what I truly suggest is if, if you're going to be doing a marketing campaign, I'm going to start one of the first few days before the marketing campaign starts is part of the preparation and list building. And, you know, if I'm going to do cold walk-ins, I will always try to spend a day or two or, you know, if it's only 100 people that I got to call, then I can just do that within half a day. Um, try to actually do cold calls so that I can set up an appointment right there and then because then I can surround those appointments with my other visits of my cold walk-ins, right? Um, we talked about mindset, positive mindset. We talked about the, you know, the walk-in process, you know, uh, making sure that, you know, you remember that it's a numbers game formula. Just let's say, for example, you were targeting 10 people, you know, out of those 10 people in a day of visits, how many of those did you actually get to speak to the gatekeeper? I mean, to get to speak to the um, key person. And out of how many of those people did you speak to the key person? How many of those did you actually transition into a presentation or a sale, right? That's where you start looking at your numbers. Uh, typically, if you're doing this long enough, you should be at your 25, 30% mark. If you're not hitting 25% to 30% of getting the um, key player to come out and speak to them, then there are certain things that you need to actually work at. Now, if you're going, if you're above 30%, you're hitting 40s and 50s or even more than that, then mazel tov to you, but there's probably ways that you can actually even improve upon that, right? Increases the chances of your sales, increase the chance of you making more money. Um, we also talked about, you know, body language and how important the body language is. It is such an important thing that you, 
you use the proper body language that you're actually making sure that you're speaking to them correctly. You're watching your voice, you're watching your tonality. You, you still watch your words, right? Remember that's seven percent of communication, but also your nonverbal is such an important thing. Um, and then we talked about your talk tracks, also known as your scripts. You know, you should have scripts ready. You should know how to be able to respond to certain things. You should be able to know that the moment that there's a question asked, you can respond to that. Uh, we, we also spoke about the different objections that you're going to face, right? That's why we have a full training on objection handling skills. Uh, typical, your objections will be talk about time, right? That's the one more thing. You're going to be talking about, you know, they're already working with a previous or another company. Or the third one is they may be saying that it's too expensive. The cost is too much. But you must be able to be ready, have products that you can actually use, um, tools that can explain certain things when you're walking in with these people. So that's pretty much about cold walk-ins. Um, I truly suggest for you to be really good in sales and marketing is to look into, number one, you should be good at prospecting and you should t you know either take our course or look into how to improve that on yourself. Cold calls is an important thing. You know These cold walk-in te techniques are an important thing, but then also learning how to be able to, number one, handle objections and know how to respond to that. And number two is you must be good at closing the sale. And that's a separate training that we also have. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video series talking about cold walk-ins. This is, like I said, when you walk into a facility that they don't know you yet, they're not using your services yet, um, it's not warm yet. So I hope you enjoyed this video series. Now listen, you know, honestly, you should actually watch this video series at least once every three weeks because there's things that you're going to miss. As time goes, we forget things. They actually say pretty much if you go, if you learn something today, more likely 75% of you, what you learned today, you already forgot by tomorrow. So the thing though is it's always educating yourself. It's always practice, drilling, and rehearsing that's important. So whether you are leading a team of sales and marketers, make sure you practice, drill, and rehearse daily, every week. But also at the same time on a daily basis, they should be given a few information that they can absorb to help them train, to get them pumped up, to get the juices flowing, the blood flowing. So when they're out there marketing, it increases the chance, number one, for them to be able to make money, your sales team, for you as a manager to look good and for the company to be actually making money so that it stays open. So this is Michael with Sales Academy. Thank you so much. You guys have a beautiful day. Hey everyone, we want to be able to invite you to our 10xpatientreferrals.com where we have our online home health marketing academy that's going to be able to help either a home health, home care, or hospice agency increase referrals, increase their senses, and create a profitable company. Now, at this very moment, you're going to have access to these information through these training, marketing to physicians, how to get to hospitals, how to be able to get into nursing homes, and much, much more at a month-to-month -month basis with no contracts needed. It's just month-to-month. -month. Now, guess what? We are offering you guys for a limited time 50% off any one of our plans. Just choose which one is going to be able to work better for you. So just stop by the 10xpatientreferrals.com at any given moment. So these are the plans that are available, whether it's the gold, the silver, or the platinum plan. Most people go for the gold plan, but it's up to you what's going to work for you. We definitely want to be able to have you in, come in and work with us. So here's two choices. Go to 10xpatientreferrals.com or click the link down below. Take advantage of this right now at this very moment and sign up with us. We would like to thank our sponsors of this video and over here at 10xpatientreferrals.com, our goal is to provide you guys amazing information on every single one of our videos. So medicationreminderprogram.com provides daily medication reminders for your patients. They call your patients twice a day to remind them to take their medications. What happens is a top reason of hospitalization for senior citizens is not taking their medications. So this program allows you to be able to keep your patients and not lose any revenue, but at the very same time, it allows you to stand out when you are marketing to other referral sources because you're providing more services, more programs than the competition around you guys. The next thing we want to be able to share with you guys is they have three different packages available for you at this very moment. Choose which one works for you. If you're an agency that's just starting up and you have less than 10 patients, you can go with the silver plan. Or if you have 50 patients, you can go with the gold plan. Or if you have up to 100 patients, it is only the choice to use the platinum plan. But guess what? It's up to you which one works for you guys. For a cost of as a little as 33 cents per patient a day, it is worth everything for you guys. The next thing is 
homecareansweringservice.com. It's an answering services for your agency. So if you want to be able to have us handle all the calls for you in the weekends or the off hours when your business office is closed, we can definitely do that. Or we can even answer your calls for you during the day as well. Allows you to be able to do everything for your company. So homecareansweringservice.com is your solution for answering your calls on a timely matter. Now, before we continue on to the video, just need to be able to take a few seconds of your time. And so we want to be able to ask you a question. Are you looking to gain more referrals for your agency, your home health, your home care, your hospice agency? We want you to be able to join us at our online marketing boot camp that has over seven and a half hours of training. When you actually watch our boot camp and join our online marketing boot camp training, so sign up for a limited time at 10xpatientreferrals.com 